Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of July 31st to August 6th. And you can watch this reading if you have an air sign as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And I highly recommend watching for all of your signs this week. So first we have many paths in reverse coming out as your spiritual theme and lesson. And this message is so important that I want to read it from the book for you. Okay. So the essence of many paths is this, all paths lead to spirit. What you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. Consider the traveler who met two stone masons. He asks one what he is doing. And the mason replies, I am squaring out this stone. He asks the other who is doing the exact same thing and gets the reply, I am building a cathedral. One man has a job and the other has found his work and calling. He is a part of an endeavor much greater than himself. Be sure that you pick a path with heart. So having this card come out in reverse shows that there is a bit of healing that needs to be done with this theme in life for you. You have outgrown your current situation and risk losing your way in your own backyard. You are being asked to step out of your comfort zone. Respond now while the call is still a gentle whisper. Even though the woods look thick and impenetrable, venture in and let nature guide your steps through the dark until you reach your destination. Remember, if you do not know where you are going, any path will take you there. So, woo! What a message. I really do feel this for air signs that there is this element of like not knowing what your future is going to look like, not knowing probably like who you're going to end up with. Are you going to settle down? What city are you going to live in? These may be questionings that are really on your mind right now. And I, I, I don't know, just getting a sense of like, what should I focus on? What should I do? Like, hmm. If you don't know where you're going, any path will take you there. That's the thing, guys. Just follow your intuition. If you don't know what you necessarily want for your future or what it'll look like in the future, just follow what your intuition feels most compelled to do, what feels right here in the present moment. What ideas do you have here in the present moment that you may want to consider trying out? It may be out of your comfort zone, but that may lead you to discovering what you actually do want your future to look like. So any path will take you there, guys. So just start getting out of your comfort zone this week. Next, we have the otter spirit coming out for you. Beautiful. I love the otter spirit. So playful, so silly, just full of love and I really think this is a week to play Aquarius. Just try something new, meet someone new and just see where that takes you. Just see where this potential relationship takes you. If it's someone new, see what this potential hobby, where it takes you. Maybe it becomes something more serious. You never know until you try. And I feel like the otter spirit is a really good example of that because they're so playful and the whole idea behind play and why every plant or why every planet, why every animal has this sense of play is to learn what works and what doesn't work. You know, children play so they can learn how to work their bodies. They figure out what they should and shouldn't do. And I feel like you need to recapture that state of play. If you're feeling apprehensive about your future, it'll really help you figure out what you want to do. Next, we have dissipating with the solar plexus chakra. This is a pretty clear sign that it's time to get out of your comfort zone in some way. So if there's something you're considering doing this week ahead that is out of your comfort zone, I would say go for it. Many of you could be going on like a first date uh, and that is outside of your comfort zone because it's like meeting someone new and you don't know what it's going to be like. And you know, your comfort zone would be staying in and sitting on your couch, for example, or you can go out and try something new. And so we're seeing that need to do that. Your energy this week is healer of the ages in reverse. 51 may be a significant number. And I'm just going to read this one from the book for you as well. I just got some confirmation from spirit. There's a honk outside. When reversed, the healer of the ages indicates that you've been feeling extremely out of sorts or even upside down in your own life. You may be in the midst of some type of physical problem or just feeling as though you're losing energy, which makes sense with the dissipating. Maybe your energy has been pretty low 
recently, solar plexus chakra needs some reinvigoration and solar plexus chakra rules over confidence. You build confidence as you do things outside of your comfort zone. That's just how it goes. So, but this card is telling you that there are deeper, deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. Take some time to regroup and put your own healing first. Whether you're facing a mental, emotional, physical, or even addictive patterns, call upon the healer of the ages to bring this energy bring his his energy to the issues you're working on quiet your mind and feel his vibration bringing you warmth and healing light clearing away any dark or hurting space repeat this meditation and be patient yet also know that divine love can heal you in the blink of a belief mm. and the affirmation is this the powerful healing of eternal love is now with me now and always divine consciousness fills my every cell I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. So reclaiming a sense of energy and healing will be important for you, Aquarius, this week. So let's get into the specifics and see what's going down for you this week using the tarot. We're going to pull nine tarot cards, three rows of three. First card out is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. There may be a fire sign, woman or feminine person in your life. Uh, at this time. They could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they don't have to be. And this person may, mm, they don't have to be a fire sign, by the way. They could just like embody a fire sign energy. They could be a fire um, ascendant as well. But anyways, this person uh, is someone who should be very much in a leadership position and inspiring others and very charismatic working with people okay that is what the queen of wands represents creative working with people collaborating on either projects or helping people heal of some sort being a good leader in reverse this person may i don't know why the words be acting petty or jealous is coming through and that might be something that you want to be aware of this could be someone in the workplace or a friend. So I would be aware of any jealousies, anyone who is getting too involved with what you're doing and not enough with what they're doing. Does that make sense? Second card out for you is the King of Wands upright. Okay, a matching pair here. Interesting stuff. So this can represent a relationship that you may be in right now. The divine feminine person in this connection may be going through some issues that they need to heal and overcome from. This could be a sense of codependency. This could be deriving too much of their happiness from the king of wands, from the other person, okay? And that can show up as like, for example, if this is a couple, um, someone in this connection may get kind of jealous uh, when the other person goes out and spends time with their own friends or working, doing their own thing. And that is an issue that that person needs to address. Instead of trying to control the other person and tell them that they shouldn't be spending time with friends and they should be giving you more time, energy, and attention, you know, you should be working on your own internal codependency or abandonment wounds or anything that comes up there. So I am seeing a relationship coming through for air signs. And to me, I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of you feel like you may be the one that needs healing here or feeling like you need to approach things better. But of course, for others of you, this could mean someone else in your life is needing to kind of do this healing. But well, I don't know. We'll see. Third card out is the Two of Swords. Protect your peace. Protect your peace. No one can take my peace. No one can take my energy. I see this energy of just going within yourself this week and healing your own wounds. I'm getting like an image of a cat licking a wound, healing themselves. And I don't know, I'm kind of getting that for air signs as well. Like going within, whether it's through meditation or journaling or working with a therapist, working with a doctor, if this is a physical healing and just focusing on that healing. Some of you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest, I'm seeing rehabs uh, coming up for some of you. There may be someone you know who is going to rehab this week or in rehab currently or needs rehab, all right? Um, yeah, that keeps coming up. I keep thinking of addiction for some reason and I keep seeing these images of like drug and alcohol counseling. Um, so that's interesting. I wonder where that exists in your life. If it's you, if it's someone close to you, leave a comment down below. I would love to know why I'm picking up on that and who it's coming from because 
it may not resonate with you okay this is a general reading keep that in mind but i am seeing addictions coming through here and you know addictions of any kind can get in the way of healthy relationships and one thing i want to say here some of you may come from a family that has a problem with addictions and you know a tendency to be more addictive like having an addictive personality can it's argued could be partially genetic and you may acknowledge that within yourself like okay i might have an addictive personality but i don't do drugs i don't do alcohol whatever maybe you do i don't know but i want to challenge you and ask you if that sort of addiction can come through in your relationships in the form of non-stop thinking about someone and getting really upset when they're busy or they don't have the time to respond um and if this isn't you this could totally be someone else in your life that you're dealing with but this is what i'm seeing here you're just dealing with this issue either literally yourself or someone close to you so we are seeing that and in order to break out of that way of existing we need to do something new because we can't expect to get to a new place in life mentally physically emotionally spiritually unless we literally start doing something different and start looking at ourselves differently so yeah i am seeing that energy second row out for your fourth card we have the five of cups okay so this relationship that i was just talking about wherever it falls in your life, it may have had to come to a close because of this issue. So this could be an ex, this could be a family member or friend in which you had to distance yourself from or they distanced themselves from you. And you know what? There's nothing we can do about the past, guys. The past is in the past. And that's just how it went down, whether you were acting from a not balanced place or whether they were acting from a not, not balanced place. The past is in the past and you know, I think it's really interesting here how it's depicted on this card. Like he's looking at the or at the three fallen cups here. And these cups, you know, represent what he's lost. And over here is this beautiful castle surrounded by water, which really represents something that felt like home, someone that you were really close to. Okay, the clouds are dark this way as well. He can't go back, he was exiled from that home or they had a falling out it's over with you know it was a breakup it was a separation it was a cutting off it was a disowning it was someone or something in your life saying no thank you or you were saying that okay this could also be like being fired or quitting and you know he's looking back at everything that he's lost that comfort zone that sense of safety that sense of family but because he's doing that, he's not able to turn around and see that there are two cups still standing here. And those two cups represent what is going to be working for him. It, the abundance that does exist in his life right now. And what he could do right now to heal from the issues that he once had. The issues that caused the separation. Okay, so for some of you, you know, this could be healing your own addiction or codependency issues. For others of you, if you were connected with someone like that, it could be healing whatever issue is within you that had you connecting with that person and tolerating that behavior in the first place. Either way, there is some healing to do. There is some changes that you're being asked to make and they will be out of your comfort zone for sure. With the five here, the number five represents change. And we saw this theme of like going out of your comfort zone, just playing with life, taking a chance taking a risk, taking a possibility that something may work out or you may find your way in life. If you just try something new, it may turn into something bigger than you initially anticipated. So that's what we're seeing there. Center of your spread is the seven of swords in reverse. It's time for you to focus within for sure. I've been seeing this message in a lot of people's readings these past few weeks and months it's time to focus within i want to see the card next to this though page of wands okay Alrighty. <laughs> um you know this person this relationship or this thing that has come to a close in the past it may have done so because there was a lie involved with the seven of swords in reverse Okay, and this lie could be 
in conjunction with some type of addiction, you know? And I don't know if all of you watching have dealt with people with addictions, but it's not that surprising that they would lie because they need what they're addicted to. So for example, a lot of drug addicts, a lot of alcoholics lie in order to get money or in order to get alcohol. Like they will do anything, even if it compromises their own values and morals, if they're addicted enough. And it doesn't have to be a straightforward addiction like that. It could also be an addiction to, I don't know, lust or sex or something brand new or even love. Addiction to romantic relationships, which is otherwise known as codependency. You know, it may have us acting out in ways that aren't aligned with our own morals to begin with. So I don't know, I'm seeing an issue there with that that may have kind of caused this separation or this ending. But interestingly enough, I'm seeing a brand new beginning coming through for you this week with the page of wands, a brand new passionate beginning. And with this Leo season and with Venus in Leo in retrograde, I feel for air signs, this new beginning that's happening this week will either be in love and lust and romance, or this could be in creativity and like hobbies and entertainment and trying something new there. Either way, we see you trying something new going out of your comfort zone. So this could be meeting someone new. This could be having a fresh start with someone old. <laughs> this could be a new idea that, a new creative idea that turns into something much bigger than how it started. This could be a new project or so, like I'm just seeing new energies coming through, very passionate energies coming through. I love that. So final row out for you, seventh card, we have the Ace of Swords in reversed. Mm. No communication, communication still blocked. Let's see the card next to this. Knight of Wands, we have the whole family, whole family coming through here of wands. Wow, I do wonder if this is a family issue or if the issue you were having with this person was someone you consider to be family. Um, it could be someone you pictured your whole life with or you know, literally your family, I don't know. Um, wow. Yeah, I feel like communication is still mm, a little touchy, a little hit or miss. A, mm. I feel like for many of you, there is a part of you that would reconcile with this person and open your heart back up to them if you saw change very directly from them or if they gave you some sort of apology or something of that nature and i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not sure if we're gonna get quite there yet this week um it may be something that needs to be built up over time and worked on over time but we see um, we see creativity and play and passion moving forward rapidly this week for you air signs because I just feel like your soul needs it and it wants it because there's been drama in the past you know there's a sense of heartbreak here betrayal like I th was hoping that you could get your crap together so that way we could be a happy family or a happy friend group or whatever but like this is, you let your own addictions and your own problems compromise our shared morals and our shared agreements. You know, you might have had an agreement in your friendship or in your relationship, which they betrayed, such as like, be honest, tell the truth, they might have lied or whatever. So I, I'm seeing that kind of coming through here um, just trying to be happy with everyone in your life, even though this one person in your life is kind of like needing to focus on themselves more, attend a rehab or therapy or something and heal. I feel like everyone else in the group, whatever that means, or the family, um, is, is fine. And you're still living your own individual lives and loving each other and trying not to let this other person destroy what you guys share. So 
Final card out is the sun, which is the happiest card of the entire deck. I love this for you. Your creativity is so high right now. And I, I really am seeing like fun in the sun type of energy. Like, let's just have a fun day out. There's been enough drama in the past. Like energy has been really low. Like let's do something fun together. And for some of you guys, if this is with someone you have this history of drama with in the past, you're kind of in this energy of like, let's just have fun together right now. Um, I consciously acknowledge that now might not be the time to bring up the touchy subjects, which we have to talk about. Like we can do that in the future. So I do feel like a certain subject is being avoided this week either with your friends, your family, or this person who ha you have this dr past drama with, this past ending with. So you may be just trying to have like fun in the sun energy, like get your mind away from this. Even though in the back of your mind, you know that you're eventually gonna have to cross this bridge. You're eventually gonna have to have this discussion, but it feels very touchy and you're not sure how this person is going to react. You're not sure if they, you know, have been working on themselves, getting the help that they need. Um, so I don't know. I'm just seeing an energy like that coming through for you guys. Just trying to maintain the peace, the love, and also like focus on your own creative life. I keep coming back to the word play. I just want to play this week. I just want to have fun this week and allow this fun, this play, this love to hopefully heal some of the tensions that may have been created in my own body, mind, and soul, as well as in my relationships. Like having a nice fun day out will heal the tensions, refill our cup. And then once our cup is refilled, maybe we can go back and revisit some issues from the past that may need to be addressed here. So does that make sense for you guys? Um, it looks like it could be a really fun week ahead for you. Uh, there's a lot of play. There's a lot of creativity in your personal life and career. Like really creating uh, something for yourself. The future looks a little bit touchy, a little bit like, I don't know what's gonna happen, um, but you're just trying to have fun right now and refill those cups, refill those energy sources. So thank you all for joining me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. It all helps out, it helps boost the algorithm, and I love connecting with you guys as a community. If you want, you can get a personal psychic reading with me one-on-one, -on -one or a spiritual life coaching session with me, or you can buy my goddess energy intention oil, all of which can be found on my website, spiritpsychic.org. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.